Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil and in this TypeScript video tutorial, we will see what is a type object, how we can use it. And these are some points of the type object. First of all, we will see what is the default type object, then how we can update a property and how we can add a new property and uh, how we can define the custom type for our object in TypeScript and what is the role of any with the TypeScript objects. One more thing, uh, typed object is little bit more complicated than the array or uh, a normal variable because in the normal variable or in a normal array, there may be chances that uh, data can be only a single type, right? But uh, in the object, there is a key value pair. That's why uh, maybe a one key value pair can be a string. The second one can be a uh, uh, boolean third one can uh, third one can be a uh, number and all that's why this is little bit complicated and we will see it from a very scratch and uh, you will also learn one more thing which is the interface with uh, this point you can see that with the fourth point you will learn a interface also and you will see a basic example of the interface so now let's start i am just going to open the terminal you can just open the terminal from here or you can just write here uh, with a short shortcut keys which is control shift and tilt all right so i will just open the two terminal here in the one i will just write here type script compiler and file name app dot ts then minus minus watch so that uh, it will just continuously convert the ts to the js now just write here node app dot js file all right so there is nothing for a moment that's why it's showing nothing so let's open the ts file and let's start i am just going to take a let and it have an object with the users can have some data like name and name can be a peter then uh, we can use a age can be 30 uh, let's say address can be a, a usa or something whatever you just want to take all right so by default an object in a typescript is uh, you can say that the uh, default type because now just after defining the array it will just understand that the name should be a string always because the first time we uh, just assign the string value that's why every time name will be take a string value is will be take the number and address also will take the uh, string value in every case so let's test it if I'm just going to use here number dot name and I want to try put a hundred which is the number value then it will just show me the error hundred cannot be as, uh, is not assigned to the type string and whenever I'm just going to save it it will just show me the error here also because this is the numeric value so and it will just uh, try to accept the string value if I'm just going to accept a string value like Bruce then it will just working fine there is a no error and here you can see that perfect so now let's make it console dot one and just write here users let's uh, just comment this line for a moment trying to run this is the default data and if i am just going to change it then uh, it will just show me the bruce as a name all right so we can just uh, put the name in uh, with the same type string so if i just put here any that means any key will take the any kind of data now i can just put here 100 because we define a type of any this is the benefit of any any means we are not sure that the which key will take what kind of data all right this is working fine so now let's just make it comment it again and uh, you can see that how we can just uh, what is the default type object then how we can update it now let's try to add a new property so can i can we add a new property in a normal uh, object this is not possible if i'm just going to put here like email and if i'm going, going to write here peter at the rate test.com then uh, it will just give me an error and it will tell that uh, the property email does not exist in the type this because in the first declaration there is a no email type defined that's why we cannot add the new property right so this is proven that in the normal case new property cannot be added now let's see that how we can define the custom type for an object custom type means how we can define an interface and we can tell that the name can be a specific type uh, like 
name can be string a can be number and all how we can define it for that we have to define our interface and interface you can say that a type typed template it will just take a data that what key will accept the what kind of data so for example i am just going to make it interface and just use here users type and uh, it will take name can be string then uh, is can be number and the last uh, address can be a uh, string and all because this is a string and now you can see that this is working fine and if i'm just going to define here the name should be numeric then uh, now we have to apply it here let's apply it user interface type now you can see that on a name it will tell that the expected type come from a property name which is declared on a type uh, here you can see type string is not assignable to the type of number because here we define the name should be a number type so it will take only a uh, numeric value only right so but uh, name cannot be a numeric value so that we have to define here string so sometime maybe you are not sure that what kind of uh, data we will save in the key then you can just define here simply any and you can just put here any value like usa or 100 or to whatever you just want it will just take anything with the any type so even you can just change here uh, users dot uh, address can be like 100 or whatever everything is working great perfect so uh, we can also define the number here like this it will also go, going to work perfect so we can also define the complete object as in type of any like here right now if i am just going to update any value it will not, not going to tell me like uh, if i just put here is is like uh, hello then everything will be accepted there is a no typed uh, constraints all right so this is the way that how we can simply define and use the object in a typescript if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care